Hey guys, Kirill here. Let's finish up the Cuba reviews with Cuba Orange. Let's find out what this one is all about. Let's go. Alright, so the presentation really quick for Cuba Orange. You have orange spritzer over here. As usual, it says Cuba Paris. Uh, eau de toilette natural spray over here Cuba on the top and then on the sides it has a, it says Cuba original by perfumes the champs nobody is gonna make a make a copy of this one nobody's gonna make a fake these are cheap so no need to worry about that uh, let's get it on with the review Cuba orange let's go what it smells like uh, this one opens up uh, smelling uh, of course very synthetic it smells like a cheap orange soda to me that's exactly what it smells like uh, I wish it smelled more like Fanta uh, I actually would like a fragrance to smell like Fanta because I love that soda but this one smells like one of those cheap orange soda Fanta imitator type of thing with powdery vibe so this is like a like a cheap orange soda but it's powdery it has some florals in it. It does have that uh, jasmine floral note that's that you have in uh, Cuba Gold. Similar one in here. And in the base, you do pick up some woods. Slightly, um, it's very linear, stays very linear on my skin throughout its longevity. For longevity, this one does last. I gotta give this credit where credit is due. It did last on me around 12 hours, so pretty epic longevity. Projection is okay. I could pick it up though. I would I want to give it one out of two for projection not a monster by any means It did project but didn't project extremely well on my skin Versatility this is a versatile fragrance for sure It does great in the spring. I imagine it does great in the summer. Of course. I'm testing it out right now in November October November uh, but it does gr do a good job in the fall, spring, um, summer for casual setting of course. In the winter I do not see you wearing a scent. It's not strong enough, it's not potent to be worn in the winter but uh, fairly good versatility anyways. If you're going somewhere uh, most of the seasons uh, you could wear it during the daytime no problem. Age, I feel this is a any age fragrance. From a young kid to a mature man, I feel anybody could wear this one, no problem. Season, this is a spring summer fragrance. More spring, the powdery vibe, for some reason powdery fragrances are always, um, most of the times, they are uh, spring for me. I do see them as a winter fragrances. Also, if it's like Lamal or Versace is a Dreamer. But this one has the orange, uh, as I said, cheap orange soda vibe. So I think spring is perfect. Summer as well. Fall, you could, I could see it, but not in the winter. Not at all. The shiny part of the scent, let it dry down a few minutes. You're going to get hit with that cream soda. Uh, and it's nice. Kind of nice. It's very linear, very synthetic. Uh, I cannot really pick up any special notes out of here. This fragrance did not take me for a journey. I did not enjoy wearing it too much. Uh, more of an um, average, below average scent, nothing special, I, I was not impressed. It's not uh, irritating however, so it's uh, it's alright, it's alright. Boring smell, did not impress me, what can I do? So the shiny part, wait a few minutes, that'll be the best part. It's linear, I cannot pick a shiny part really, so it's all just yapping right now. <laughs> uh, opponent Cologne. Uh, this has some stiff competition for opponents right here. Alurom Sport goes head to head with Cuba Orange. I did pick as opponent this one because of the same orange type of vibe it has. At the same time, uh, kind of um, this one has creamy vibe, this one has powdery, but I do feel they're a little bit similar. I'm not sure which this one copies, but it has a similar vibe with this one. But who wins? Uh, there's no competition with this fragrance. Uh, Chanel, of course, wins. It is my signature scent. I don't love it as much as I used to, but it is still a special place in my heart. W very well done. There's no competition at all. 
Chanel one. Would I buy this again? I will not buy this again. This is not a type of fragrance that deserves my money for my personal collection anyways. So I would not be buying this ever again. Rating. Let's hit the moment of truth. For smell, I'm going to give this one 1.5 out of 4. I feel this deserves a 1.5. It is better than Cuba Blue. I want to say it's not offensive. I was not disgusted by the smell, but it was boring and synthetic, linear. This one is not something I want to wear. It's not. As a fragrance fan, this one is not impressive for me. I'm going to give this 1.5 out of 4 and move on to longevity. Longevity, I'm going to give this 2 out of 2. Full marks. It gave me 12 hours. I cannot expect anything more. In projection, I'm going to give this 1 out of 2. Uh, just because it didn't project very well, I feel it's the right score for projection. How am I going to explain this to you guys? It projected okay, not too strong. Uh, it was killed by a cold weather when I wore it in a really cold uh, night when I was working at night. Um, it's one out of two. Versatility, uh, this one is versatile. I'm going to give this 1.5 out of two really versatile fragrance not a uh, all season but it is versatile for uh, kind of warmer cool weather casual wear you could wear this anytime overall this fragrance gets six out of ten it is uh, an okay fragrance for somebody just starting out in high school you want to move up from x this is a good moving up just a little bit of step above x six it's not a good six this is not some kind of fragrance that is an amazing smelling but it performed really poorly this one is not a nice smell in my opinion really boring this is kind of a six that's uh bad six if that if you know what i mean uh but it is a six overall so i did deserve that mark well, let me round it up from all cuba fragrances i reviewed uh, blue uh red orange and uh, gold the best one was red from the rating red i gave seven then it was cuba gold right below with 6.5 then this one with six and then cuba blue is way below it's garbage four out of ten so this one is third best out of four or second worst i should say um i would not buy it again but it does get six out of ten uh al this is street sense shirt right here Anybody who uh, is a fan of fragrance community, supports fragrance community, go to Al Fragrance Fanatic 1. Here is the website. I don't know if you guys are going to see it right here. FragranceFanatic1.com Go to his YouTube page. Go to his website. Pick up a shirt. Nice job, buddy. Uh, and that will round up my review. That's it, guys. I'm done with Cubas finally. Now I'm going to review some bigger and better fragrances.